We had just measured Junior's EMG signal, which is what Junior's muscles can actually produce, and we got to 13 as our maximum EMG signal. So we're just going into the area where now we're trying to change the program where Junior is going to use his muscles to fire and trigger the stim. So it's not timed, it's not on a program, it's Junior who's going to produce the movement. So I've just brought the threshold down and I'm going to press start. And Junior's sitting at about 28 in terms of the intensity. So we're gonna just go all the way up to 28 straight away and you'll see Junior's hands start to move and open. Great. Okay, we'll all watch this screen here. So this is Junior's stim. So there's something firing and then it needs to produce enough stim, there we go, to produce a movement, sorry. So we've got some little flickers here. That's this little blue line flashing. But what we want to see is just a big sort of pulse and then it should produce um, another a stim on the green line here. So if you can give it a good crack, there we go. That's the stim. Is this me doing this on my own? Yes. Yeah. So I'm fighting through all the brain damage that's there. And trying to build new new pathways. Yes, and then the Omni High Five is picking up what's happening underneath and turning that into a bigger movement. There you go, another one. Oh, drop off. We're flickering here. Let's see if we can do a nice big pulse and we'll see if we can get another stim. Here we go. So can you think about what you do when you produce that movement? What is it that you're thinking Just of? To get that muscle there to fire. Like. Yeah. And does it feel like it's still too hard? Yeah. Yep, that's okay.